Hi friends, this is Kamal Shah from Switch Arts Consultancy Private Limited. Switch Arts is into training on technical analysis and we had started a series on option basics and options essentials. In option basic, we have already covered what is options and how it is to be understood is with respect to the example of mobile phone. And we started with the option essentials training part one with giving you understanding about what are the common instruments used in option which is call and put i will just reiterate that calls are to be bought when you are expecting the price to move up of the underlying it can be either a stock or even index right and put is to be bought only when we are expecting the price to go down of that underlying or that can be the stock or the index right with this knowledge let us start with the other part of essential which is called as strike price so what are we going to discuss in this video is what is a strike price now if you recollect we talked about in the bank nifty example that the market was at 3100 and we were buying calls because we are expecting bank nifty to move higher so if i am saying that this is the bank nifty price at which i am thinking to buy it right because i am thinking that the market will move up and i am trying to block the price 30100 which is 30,100, then this price is called as the strike price at this particular time. So if this is the price which I am trying to buy, that particular price is strike price. At that time, the market price of Bank Nifty can be either 30,050 or it can be also 30,150. It can be anything. So this is different than the current market price which we also abbreviated as cmp which is current market price so current market price can be anything from 30050 to 30150 or it can be anything apart of this it can be also at the same time 30100 right so Current market price and strike price are two different things. Strike price again, it is the price at which you think that particular instrument is looking attractive to you, right? So this is what the strike price is. So now let's understand how to see this various strike price in case of Bank Nifty and the same we can then see in case of the other stocks. To see the strike prices of Bank Nifty, if you go on to the National Stock Exchange and you see the Bank Nifty futures and in the option category, if you see this particular price where we have known the strike price and you just drop down, you see a multiple strike prices available. So as per what your view is in the market, you can select the strike price accordingly if you see here it is at a difference of 100 points it is if you see 28,000 then 20,100 28,200 27,900 27,800 so these are the various strike prices that are available for bank nifty options right we saw that there was a constant difference between each of the strike prices that we saw for bank nifty we saw 28,000, 28,100, 28,200 and similarly we saw that there was 27,900, 27,800. So between two consecutive strike prices, there is a fixed difference. Now that fixed difference in technical term is called as tick size. So what is a tick size is nothing but the difference between two consecutive strike price. In case of Bank Nifty, it was 100 points because the current market price of Bank Nifty is at 30,000. And that is the reason why the tick size has been kept at 100. Now let's us see with some other examples, tick sizes for something like a stock reliance. 
So I'll go to equity derivatives. I will say Reliance. And I say Reliance Industries. Yes, that is what I want to see. And now we can see over oh, here stock options again and now the strike prices. So again if you see the strike prices are 1000, 1020, 1040. So as the price of the stock or the index reduces or increases, the tick size is changing itself. For something like Bank Nifty we saw the tick size was 100. For something like Reliance, which is trading at around 1300 to 1400, the tick size you see here is 20 points. So this is how the tick size will be adjusted as per the current market price of that particular stock or index. Now let's see of something which is around 100, 120 rupees. And I just stay an example of Bank of Baroda. part of it and I see the options so now this is traded at 126 rupees only so now let's see the differences in strike price if you see here it is 70 75 80 and then it is now coming towards the current market price we see it is a difference of 2 rupees 50 pesa so if you see that this is 100 102.5 105 so this is how the strike price will get adjusted with respect to the current market price of that particular stock or index right so this is how we can see different strike prices related to each and every stock or each and every index which are been traded and available in futures right so what we saw in this video was what is the strike price and what is the tick size. Now again, strike price if we are selecting say 30,100 for Bank Nifty, it can be the same for both call and put because as per your view in the market, whether the market is going to rise from here or it is going to fall from here, you are going to trade either call or put. And for that, the strike prices would always remain the same. Depending on your view, you will be just selecting the different instrument, but the strike price remains constant for us. Hope this video was helpful to you. If you are interested in more videos from Sway Charts, please like our channel on YouTube, which is the Sway Charts channel. Thank you all.